The scene begins with a jet plane that has just arrived at the Presidential Palace of America, the White House. The jet is piloted by Tandy and Carol, who apparently decided to inhabit the White House because Carol still considers Tandy as the President of the United States. Before they entered the White House, Carol bought some supplies for them to live there. After finishing shopping, Carol returned to the jet. But when Tandy was about to restart the jet, he suddenly pressed the wrong button as he actually activated the bomb the jet possessed. Initially, Tandy told Carol to retrieve the bomb. But considering the jet bomb was very large in size, Carol said she didn't know how to return the bomb to the plane. Finally, Tandy left the bomb and shortly after the bomb exploded. Upon arriving at the White House, Carol and Tandy did things as they pleased. Starting from riding an ATV inside the palace, turning some statues of former American presidents into jokes, and so on. On that night, as they were about to sleep, Carol suddenly poured out her heart if she felt the White House was not a suitable place for them to live, and Carol wanted them to move. Initially, Tandy refused, but because Carol kept whining. Finally, Tandy promised to look for a new place the next day. Then the scene changed to the astronaut who was still stuck in space, where he kept trying to communicate with other humans on every island on the face of the Earth. But his efforts were always in vain, even his attempts to communicate with every living creature on Earth. And the only friends accompanying the astronaut in space were two caterpillars he named Terry and Nancy. The next day, Tandy blindfolded Carol because he wanted to surprise her with their new home. And when they arrived there, it turned out Tandy took Carol to his hometown. That is Delaware. Which made Carol very happy. Then Carol immediately introduced her old house, where she showed her family, friends, and some knitting clubs she had joined. She also introduced her sister's room and her room filled with handmade items by Carol herself to remember friends and family who died because of the virus. But just one day after they lived in Delaware, Carol again questioned their place of residence, where now she wanted to have a house with occupants. And the only house with occupants was Tucson inhabited by people who hated Tandy. Their conversation caused various problems because Tandy was offended, while Carol was disappointed because Tandy couldn't fulfill her wish. Until finally, Carol decided to separate beds with Tandy. But because he didn't want her and Carol to have problems again, Tandy finally complied with Carol's request to return to Tucson, where along the way Carol and Tandy didn't say a word. Then Tandy decided to refuel and buy some supplies. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to him, Carol was looking for a suitable dress to adorn herself. But that turned out to be a problem. When Tandy finished refueling, he forgot about Carol's presence. Carol tried to stop Tandy by firing a gun to make Tandy aware of her presence. But because Tandy turned on very loud music, he couldn't hear the sign of Carol's presence. Finally, Carol had to be alone at the gas station. While Tandy, who had just arrived in Tucson, just realized that he lost Carol. Finally, Tandy tried to find her again by remembering the gas station he had descended. But Tandy only remembered one gas station name. That is Speedy Bump. Finally, he tried to find that gas station which turned out Speedy Bump had many branches. Then Tandy decided to remain silent in Tucson while waiting for Carol to possibly follow him. Upon arriving in Tucson, he disguised himself to avoid the wrath of the people who hated him. But when he looked towards his former house, turns out the Tucson family disappeared and Tandy's house was found burnt down, while Carol continued to sound her gun to give a warning if she was there. But Tandy never realized her presence and he just sat quietly on their old bench. In the midst of her loneliness, Carol tries to do what Tandy often does, which is to chat with inanimate objects. And Carol names the inanimate object the same as Tandy's name, which is Phil. Day by day, Carol goes through it. All sorts of ways she tries to signal that she is at the EMCO gas station. Not speedy bump. But everything is in vain. Meanwhile, in Tucson, after Tandy talked about several topics with his imaginary friend, Tandy finally had an idea. He writes the words Tandy and Tucson on several balloons in the hope they will fly past Carol's location. But that too is in vain before Tandy finds a railroad track and he has another brilliant idea. In the midst of his resignation, Carol suddenly hears something moving and making noise. Finally, she approached the source of the sound, which turned out to be a moving train. In each train carriage, it is written that it comes from Tandy. He signals that he is not on the train. Instead, he is in Tucson. Happy to see the sign Tandy gave, Carol immediately tries to find a car and goes straight to Tucson. In Tucson, Tandy tries another way. That is, he runs a Tandy in Tucson truck. But when Stum is operated, it turns out that Stum crushes one of Tandy's best friends, Gary. 
Tandy looked very sad about Gary's loss due to being run over by the stump truck he was operating. But all of that turned into happiness when he saw a car driven by Carol. Then they returned to Tucson and lived together, where Carol apparently still hopes that she can meet others. But all of that doesn't matter because Carol is still happy if Tandy is still with her. Then she prepares something for Tandy and asks him to wait a moment. While waiting for Carol, Tandy prepares to pour a drink for the both of them. But when he picked up the bottle of drink, he received a letter from Melissa informing that their family had moved to Malibu. And if Carol wants to go there, Melissa hopes Carol won't bring disaster. That is Tandy, because he doesn't want Carol to leave without him. Tandy tries to hide the letter from Carol, but it seems the letter becomes a nightmare for Tandy, because when he falls asleep, he dreams of being left by Carol who knows everyone has moved to Malibu. He quickly tries to follow her, but in the middle of the road, he is intercepted by Phil's hand trying to kill him. Then he had another nightmare where the person sleeping next to him was Melissa carrying a weapon and shooting him towards Tandy. After that nightmare happened, Tandy told his friends about his confusion of having to lie to Carol to outsmart the presence of his friends. At night, Tandy made replicas of every person who ever lived in Tucson, but that only added to the longing Carol experienced. Finally, because he felt sorry, Tandy gave Melissa's letter that he found and said that everyone had moved to Malibu. Instead of wanting to go, Carol actually doesn't want it anymore if they don't want Tandy with her. But because Tandy really wants to grant Carol's wish to meet her friends again, he outsmarts Carol, where he invites Carol to get drunk. And after Carol gets drunk, the next day Carol wakes up in their van heading to Malibu. Upon arriving there, they disguise themselves again and finally manage to find Melissa and the others. When they watch Melissa and the others move, Tandy found a new man joining them. Finally, out of curiosity, Carol had an idea, where she moves unnoticed to approach them all. And when Carol comes, she suddenly startles the new person until he has a heart attack and dies. Seeing the new person named Gordon suddenly die from being startled by Carol, everyone immediately helps him. But instead of being sad, Carol is happy because her plan with Tandy succeeds. After Gordon's death, Carol had to take responsibility for her actions, where she was required to be the host for Gordon's funeral. At Gordon's funeral, Carol pretended to be sad about the death of someone she didn't know. It was evident that her friends were very sad because they had lost Gordon. One of them was Gail, who turned out to be Gordon's lover. After the funeral, Carol immediately returned to their van and told Tandy that everything was okay. Then Carol returned to the crowd and was immediately introduced to their new home by Melissa, who explained that their new home was Gordon's house. They met Gordon at a beach, and it turned out that Gordon invited them to live together. After that, they gathered in the living room to remember Gordon's personality, which according to Gail was very kind, a trustworthy advisor, and a valuable lover. So close that Todd truly felt sad about Gordon's departure, who according to Gail had been in search. After Gordon's memorial service was over, they began to interrogate Carol about her life after leaving Tucson. Carol recounted how she had briefly lived with Tandy, but not long because Tandy was found dead. Then she told Todd and Melissa how Tandy died, where Tandy's place of death was at the Grand Canyon when she tried to save herself from attempting a handstand at the edge of the Grand Canyon. Then because Carol slipped, Tandy tried to help her, but Tandy had to accept his fate when he slipped and fell to the bottom of the cliff and died. When Carol finished her story, Todd suddenly cried moved, which Carol assumed was sadness about Tandy's death. But Todd actually said that Carol's story reminded him of Gordon. Then they suddenly saw Gail on the beach performing a ritual that Melissa called spiritual healing where she wrote Gordon's name on the beach to commemorate him. Apparently, Carol used it as an idea, where she mimicked what Gail did by writing Tandy's name. Then Phil approached her and said he didn't want to see Carol unhappy about Tandy's death and wanted Carol to come back to him. But Carol still remembered that Phil had a partner, Erica. Phil replied that he had just broken up with Erica to be back with her. But unfortunately, Carol rejected him outright. Then the scene switched back to Gordon's commemoration where Gail decorated a doll to resemble what Gordon wore. But when she told the story, she couldn't hold back her sadness about Gordon's death until Carol took over the atmosphere and began to talk about Tandy. She wanted everyone to remember Tandy, which people actually remember his faults. Todd remembered how Tandy tried to kill him by leaving him in the desert. And Phil who still remembers when Tandy had a desire to kill him. But Carol didn't care because she wanted to present to everyone that Tandy was still alive. Still afraid to rejoin, Tandy asked Carol to cancel it. But people were not happy with Tandy's return to life and decided to disband. 
Because her plan failed, Carol decided to return to Tucson, where she bid farewell to her friends first. But when Carol was about to say goodbye, suddenly her friends reappeared and began to discuss the issue of accepting Tandy's return. Happy to hear that, Carol quickly recounted the changes that Tandy had given her. She promised everyone that the old Tandy was dead, because what remained was Tandy who was reborn into a normal human being. After a fairly long negotiation, finally, Melissa and others agreed to give Tandy a second chance. Meanwhile, feeling disbelieved again, Tandy had a crazy idea to regain the trust of his friends, where he suddenly appeared before the crowd while carrying a gun to threaten them all to listen to him. Because they were afraid, eventually, everyone surrendered and raised their hands. Finally, Tandy apologized to everyone for the mistakes he had made, starting with an apology to Phil for intending to kill him, then to Todd for intending to leave him in the desert. Then he apologized to Melissa, Gail, and Erica for lying to him. But in the turmoil Tandy made, Carol suddenly said that everyone would indeed give Tandy a second chance. Hearing that, he immediately released his gun and promised that he had changed 100%. But when Tandy let go of his gun, he was suddenly restrained by Phil and he was tied up until Phil allowed him to leave. This is the end of The Last Man on Earth Season 2 on Part 5. Like, comment, and subscribe so I will soon make a recap of Part 6 for The Last Man on Earth. Thank you for watching.